Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I put on moisturizer. Didn't realize it was scented. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jisney. If you're not new here, shh, listen. Can you hear it? The sound of a wild gin. The cat. <laughs> She's here, she just doesn't want to sit in her chair. So, can't control the cat. Uh, also, if you're not new here, are you subscribed? Today, I have a Tokyo Treat unboxing. Look, it's pink and really pretty. Anyway, uh, Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription box full of Japanese snacks. Not affiliated, not associated. They're not paying me, I'm just a subscriber. So, let's put this here where you can't see. I will go over here where I can't see. I'll just start. And here there is a magazine. I don't think there's a card. I unboxed two other Japanese snack boxes on this channel, and they both come with magazines and little cards. But I don't think Tokyo Treat has cards. So, they do, however, this little magazine. It tells you the theme and the volume and the month. So it's Sakura Picnic, volume 78, May 2022. So inside this little magazine there is a thing that falls out at you. That's always good. It's a chance to win Kit Kats, I believe. So in here there is a little hello, uh, some cool information about some of the snacks I think, and little blurbs about each of the snacks that are in the box. I have a reading disability, so I don't actually read a lot of this out loud. Uh, Tokyo Treats blurbs are pretty short, so I will try my best to read them. Uh, my pronunciations suck, they don't ever seem to be getting better, and I'm sorry, but I'm trying. Also, Tokyo Treat has recently, I mean this year, uh, started listing allergens, so I'll read those as well. Uh, all that being said, let's get in here. Kit Kats. In every Tokyo Treat, you get a bag of Kit Kats. I can tell they're Kit Kats because they come in this cool, like, paper bag. So, what have we got here? Banana Caramel. Kit Kat Banana Caramel. 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 I don't know. I don't know the difference. I don't know the pronunciation. It's just, it's a banana and then burnt sugar. A new limited time only flavor from Kit Kat Japan. This popular snack has a banana caramel flavored chocolate base with a banana and caramel powder mixed between the wafers. Common allergens are wheat, dairy, soy, and banana. May contain traces of eggs, almonds, and sesame. I love that they started listing the allergens. It was like my one complaint over the many, many years that I've been opening Tokyo Treat is they didn't list their allergens. So I'm really, really glad they started doing that. Okay. Split this so people don't yell at me. And oh no. Oh no. Oh, I put on moisturizer. Didn't realize it was scented. Oh, everything's gonna smell wrong. Ugh. I hope it tastes okay. So that's what it looks like. Oh, 
That was awesome. It's chocolatey. The banana's not like too strong. It doesn't taste like fake banana. It... The caramel is definitely there. It's definitely super sweet. It's got that like burnt sugar taste, but like in a good way. And hmm. it's really nicely balanced. I'd like there to be more banana flavor. Yeah, very caramel. Not a whole lot of banana. Next. Whatever this is. Ooh! I love these. I guess I should read what it says in the book about them. Uh, I've had these before. I've actually had these a bunch of times. Not actually like just in Tokyo Treats, but in other things at other places. And I just love them so much. They come in two flavors. Sakura Pink and Sakura Latte white. Enjoy them on their own or as a topping for sweets and drinks. Common allergens, gelatin and soy may contain eggs and dairy. These go great on everything. You can put little flowers on your pancakes. Uh, they go in like hot chocolate. Like they're, they're petal shaped so you can literally make little flowers on anything. They're great. And when you put them in hot chocolate they like they don't disintegrate as quickly as you think they might. I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> I'm just sitting here praising them. I'm not even eating them. I guess I don't really have to because I know that I love them so much. But we'll try, we'll try the Sakura Latte one. I'm getting that milky flavor of the latte. The Sakura is not overly strong, but neither is the milk flavor. It textures like a marshmallow. It goes squidge, squidge. I love it so much. Um, other than that, I don't really know what to say about it. They're delicious. They go on everything. They're not extremely strongly flavored, so, like I said, they'll go on everything. <laughs> I love those. Next we got Sakura Candy. Uh, a Tokyo Treat original collaboration with famed Japanese confectionery. I'm going to pronounce that wrong. I'm just going to hold it up because I know I'm going to pronounce that wrong. And I'm sorry. It's a classic pineapple flavor gets the Sakura season makeover in a spring 20 that in a spring 2022 exclusive this unique pineapple shape is now pink with a juicy cherry blossom flavor okay there are no common allergens may contain traces of dairy It tastes like a cherry lifesaver. Not quite like a cherry, um, whatchamacallit. Completely forgotten the name of the North American candy I'm trying to reference. Jolly Ranchers. Not as cherry as a Jolly Rancher, but very much like a cherry life lifesaver. Very cherry. I don't really get any floral from it. <clears throat> it's just cherry. Hmm. Oh, hey. Same page. No! Tragedy. 
Tokyo Layer Loaf Strawberry and Red Bean. Another Tokyo Treat exclusive. So it is a bread, strawberry, and red bean flavored. Common allergens are wheat, egg, dairy, soy, and apple. If you saw last week's Sakurako, you'll have heard me saying that um, when it says that it may contain apple, I've been starting to eat those snacks, but I'm still not going to eat the ones that list apple as a main ingredient. I really want to eat this. Look how good it looks. Like, seriously. Anyway. Goes in the box. This is the box. In the box goes the snacks that I am allergic to, don't like, or have already tried before. From the box it goes to friends, family, people who like snacks. Next. Coro Cola Chewing Candy. If you love... Okay. Am I in you anywhere near a frame? Okay. Uh, if you love cola flavored candy, then these Coro Cola Chewing Candies will hit the spot. With bubbles inside the candy, it will just... It'll be just like a nice cold glass of cola. Okay. Common allergens are gelatin. Wow. Even over the scent of the moisturizer, this is strong. I like cola candies. That's actually really good. It's kind of like melty. It's like a soft high chew kind of chew. I like the cola flavor. It's not too sweet or too sour. It's just kind of nicely balanced. I don't know, I like it. Ooh, I love these. Old favorites. I love these so much. Sparrow Egg Crackers, a classic sweet and spicy soy sauce flavored peanut based snack fried in flour to give an extra crunch. Common allergens are wheat, peanuts, and soy. It may contain traces of dairy, sesame, walnuts, and almonds. This soy sauce is sweet, but not like obnoxiously. It's not spicy at all. Maybe maybe spicy in the sense that they use some sort of seasoning, <laughs> but it's not like spicy spicy. I really, really like these. And yeah, obviously it's a peanut, so it tastes like peanut. I'm not going to eat these. <laughs> Just telling it as it is right up front. These are not going in my mouth. Mr. Onion Taro. I don't like onion. I just don't like onion. Corn puff snacks are always popular because they are light, flavorful. Be yeah, because they are light, flavorful, and have a great texture to them. The classic snack comes in an onion soup flavor. Yummy onion flavor, light texture. Uh, sure. Okay. 
Common allergens are wheat, dairy, and soy. I don't like these, so they're going in the box. It's just that simple. They're onion soup flavored corn pops, and I just don't like them. Other people who like onions and corn pops will probably like those. But I ain't doing it. Ooh. I like these too. What flavor are you? Mochi Taro. Classic Daigashi from Yoken. Sorry. Uh, lightly salty rice crackers come in a traditional package. These rice crackers are enjoyed by all generations in Japan and they make Sometimes I have trouble reading. I already explained this at the beginning when I said I had a reading disability. I think I've been doing pretty good. So these are... Salted rice crackers. But they're like deep fried mochi. I think. As you're eating it, it's really like, it's crunchy and it's salty, but like, like a popcorn kind of salty, not like, well, I guess popcorn is pretty salty. Like a homemade salted popcorn, as opposed to a bagged salted pop popcorn. Popcorn? Popcorn. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really know what I'm talking about. It's perfectly salted, it's crunchy. Yeah, they kind of taste like fried rice. I mean, like, all of them. But, like, in a good way. So this is, like, salted fried rice. But... In, in a good way? I really like it. Same page. Puku Puku Thai Strawberry. There's nothing in this description that I can't tell you myself. It, to the best of my knowledge, is a fish shaped. fish shaped wafer with. Bubbly chocolate on the inside. It's like an arrow bar. If your arrow bar was covered in an ice cream cone. Didn't notice this earlier. He's got a little heart scales. That's a really nice strawberry. It doesn't taste fake and it's not too strong, but it's definitely the prominent flavor. I don't usually like wafer, but in this form, I kind of can stand it. Next up. Two things, neither of which I'm eating. Wow. Okay, hang on. We'll start with this one. Coco Bolo. These light and crispy treats add a hint of rich and bitter chocolate into your spring day. Try them in a bowl of milk or add them into yogurt. Anything goes. Common allergens are dairy, wheat, and soy. May contain traces of egg, peanut, shrimp, and crab. Okay. I'm, this was down here that whole time, wasn't it? I'm not good at this. I'm also using the wrong hand for this. I'm used to doing this. This I could hold here forever. This I'm not used to. So, um, these are chocolate corn pops. They're not good. They don't taste like the, the hot cocoa or whatever that it's supposed to taste like. 
in this box they go, but no, I don't like them. They're just not good. Same with this. Ramen Shop Taro's Ramen Snack. Enjoy the bold flavor of this noodle snack that has the right amount of seasoning and crunch. It's light but full of flavor. If you love ramen, then you'll love these. Wheat Dairy Soy. Okay. So, breakfast cereal and ramen. and karma. God damn. Oh. Okay. I don't like these. They, they're just ramen bits. They're uncooked ramen bits. And I don't like anything about them. So, I know some of you are upset because I'm putting things aside that I just don't like. But hear me out. <clears throat> I open this. I take one. I hate it. I can't really give it to other people. I mean, I can. I can share like in a bowl or whatever, but I can't just be like, hello person, here, have a snack. You know? Like, we all know the world the way it is. People are more comfortable with things being closed. So, I'm just, I'm keeping it for someone who actually wants it. I'm not just being a crybaby who doesn't want to eat it. Like, there, I have a reason. Also, I'm a crybaby who doesn't want to eat it. <laughs> Japanese mini monster gummies. A fruity Japanese gummy snack with refreshing sour kick. Enjoy your next picnic or snack time with these friendly little monsters. What? Oh, okay. Jesus. I just hear this crunching, I'm like, oh god, what does she have? Okay, it's treats. I put treats there. She found the treats. Hi, sweetie. You okay? You're still not gonna go up in your chair? Okay. Well, I'm almost done here, okay? Each of these are a different fruit flavor. I'm pretty sure there's cherry, that's either lime or green apple, I don't remember, orange, and lemon. It is very sour. The orange is nice. It's equally as sour, but it's got this, like, more, like, citrusy. The lemon was, like, sour-sour, and this is, like, citrus-sour. You can peel them apart, but I'm super lazy. Hang on. I'm pretty sure that's green apple. And cherry. You can peel them apart. You can eat them like I just did. You can just eat the whole thing in one big chunk. It's sweet. It's sour. Um, it's just good. I If you like sour gummy snacks, then this is good. Okay, so that's a thing that happened. I guess whatever's in here is crushed all the hell now. Lovely. Pringles Cream Stew. A new limited time flavor for everyone's favorite can of chips. Pringles can serve 
sorry, Pringles serves a rich and gentle cream stew flavor packed with cheesy goodness. You'll definitely have a hard time sharing these because <laughs> no one else wants them. <laughs> sorry. Uh, common allergens, wheat and dairy, may contain shrimp, crab, eggs. That was the end of the sentence. I don't know why I end it like that sometimes. Cream stew, eh? They don't seem to be too horribly crushed. It tastes like stew. <laughs> you know, like okay. You know when you eat the canned soup that looks like that? That's what this tastes like. It's salty, it's savory, it's... creamy, I guess? I don't really know how to describe this. Sweet and savory. And it does taste like some kind of stew, but I can't place it. It's not... Potato chowder? I don't know. It tastes good. I'm actually probably going to finish those. So... Oops. 78 of these, and I'm still not any better at this. Ramen. In every Tokyo treat from now on, you get a ramen. And by ramen, I mean cup of noodles, and by that, I just mean it's a cup of some kind of noodle. Ooh! Maruchan Red Kitsume Udon. One of the most popular instant noodles in Japan. Uh, these noodles are served in a flavorful broth with dried bonito flakes, kelp, and topped with a large piece of double deep fried tofu. Oh yeah. Common allergens, wheat, egg, dairy, mackerel, soy, and gelatin. Neat. I'm sorry if that was all glare. Uh, so he's got some information and cooking instructions. And I don't try the noodles in these videos. What I do is I save them and once a month I do a video over on my Patreon. So all of my videos on there are listed public so you can watch them whenever, however, you don't actually have to, like, pay to watch them. Next... We have the beverage! In every Tokyo treat, you get a beverage! Kelpis Melon Cream Soda. One of Japan's most popular drink makers, Kelpis, I love saying it, I love saying it, okay? <laughs> Helpus brings its new and delicious cream soda flavor. Common allergens are egg and soy. I don't try the drinks on this channel either. I try them over on my Patreon as well. So, okay, give me one second. I'm almost done, sweetie. Uh, so yes, check me out over on my Patreon to see the beverages because I unbox three separate Japanese snack boxes on this channel and they each have a drink. So I save all the drinks and once a month I do a video over on my Patreon with all the drinks. And that was everything in May's Tokyo Treat. Jin would like out, so I'm just gonna wrap this up with 
Please don't forget to like this if you like this. Comment anything at all you want to say below. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter and or Instagram. And... I'm coming, sweetie. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. There you go, love. In the box goes. Are you a spider? Okay, now you don't crunch like a spider. Sorry, hi, what?